The Battle of Nesbit Moor was a small but significant clash between Scottish and English forces in the borders area north of the River Tweed. Specifically this clash took place on the Kimmaghame estate in a field now named Slaughter Field. The estate is in the possession of the Swinton family. In 1402, Scottish nobles launched a coordinated invasion of northern England. In the initial foray, some 12,000 Scottish troops crossed into Cumberland and looted areas near Carlisle. On the 22nd of June at Nisbet, Berwickshire, the forfeited George Didonbar, 10th Earl of March, successfully led 200 English soldiers mainly drawn from the garrison at Berwick-upon-Tweed, against 400 Scots returning from a raid on Northumberland. The Scottish casualties included the death of Sir Patrick Hepburn Younger of Hales, and the capture of Sir John Halliburton of Dalton, Robert de Laudry of Edrington, Sir John Cockburn and Sir Thomas Halliburton. The date of Sir Robert Lauder's liberation does not appear to be on record but as there is a charter in the Great Seal of Scotland confirmed it. Falkland Palace in May 1411, which mentions him being present, we might safely assume that he was freed before that date. Certainly on 15 June 1411, Robertus Lord Eyre, Miles, has a safe conduct from Henry IV of England. Henry IV was given news of the skirmish while at Harborough on 30 June, and delayed plans to suppress a Welsh rebellion so that he could deal with the large-scale Scottish invasion that was then imminently expected. In the autumn a large army of Scots led by Archibald Douglas, 4th Earl of Douglas harassed the English countryside as far south as the River Ware. They were eventually engaged and defeated by the Earl of Northumberland at the Battle of Humbleton Hill.